Zord Rider Transformers reviews and toy related chat Zord Rider Zord Rider Hello everyone, it's Zord Rider here and I'm going to continue doing these MicroMaster Micro reviews. Um, so today we're going to have a look at the MicroMaster Autobot Construction Patrol. To start off with takedown here. Now what I will say, uh, as I said in my previous video, is sometimes when I was a kid I used to use these and substitute their real names for the some other Transformers. Um, as these were easy to carry around to my nans and all that kind of stuff. So I always used to call this guy... Um, Mixmaster, uh, even though probably he, well, he wasn't a Decepticon for a start, this was an Autobot, and I also um, think probably it looks more like Quick Mix now, there we are, but there I live the six year old me alone. So we can see in robot, I'm sorry, in car mode or in cement mixer mode, there's a bit more paint than on the on the uh, race car um, and, and other figures. So these are a lighter line. Um, you've got a bit of silver paint on the front. You've got some blue windscreen and some paint on the mixer barrel here, which unfortunately on mine has chipped. You can see also as well uh, starting to corrode some of the metal. Um, which, believe it or not, I cleaned up uh, one of the uh, Rescue Patrol uh, Fix-It, I think it is. And uh, that was completely rusty, the screw on there. And I used a bit of coke uh, and a little bit of an abrasive pad. And it's, it's come up pretty nice, to be honest with you. So there's a little tip if you want to get rid of some of the rust on the screws. Um, but I think it's a nice little cement mixer mode. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Transforming. All you literally do is pull... And stand up. That's how simple it is. Uh, you can see by the sculpt, he's a little bit Mixmaster-like with the the bit hanging over the top of his head. So I can see why the six-year-old me thought it was Mixmaster. Um, I like the head sculpt. I like the detailing on the chest. Uh, this is just one solid piece. So you've actually got a little bit less articulation than what you would normally have in a, any other Micromaster. But, yeah. Pretty nice little figure. And... Simple enough to transform him back, just push him together. So. Next figure is Neutro. Um, he is a like, bulldozer kind of thing. Pretty cool, a little bit of articulation on the front. Uh, this one has slightly less paint, only the black on them, but we do get different, three different kinds of plastic, so it looks pretty nice. Wheels on the bottom roll really nicely, and I think it's a good representation of a bulldozer. I think it's a pretty nice little figure. To transform him, all you do is you push his arms forward first. This one's a bit difficult to do, it's one tab. You push the bulldozer blade back and fold his legs round and of course his head up and then you drop him on the floor. Um, so here he is in his robot mode, uh, Neutro. And I like the head sculpt. Uh, I like the detail on the, on the face. Uh, I think he cleans up pretty well. I know we've got a big bulldozer blade on the back, but for something so small, I think it looks great. Um, he's a lovely, lovely little figure. Um, I'm, I'm falling in love with these MicroMasters all over again. The interesting thing is that, unlike a lot of my other Transformers, I haven't probably picked up and played with these and actually looked at them in detail since I was a kid. So that's this is nice. I think the, they were chucked in a box and I sorted them out into their teams when I moved house and that was essentially it. So it's nice to actually get a little bit of nostalgia from these. Um, a little bit of good play memories. So yeah, there's Neutro. So next up is a little ground pounder here who's another construction vehicle. Uh, and used to be Scoop. He does look a little bit like Scoop, doesn't he? Um, so yeah, I used to like Scoop. He was a very underrated figure and toy. Um, but yeah, I like this vehicle mode. I like all of these, to be honest with you. I don't think there's a bad one amongst them. Um, got a little bit of articulation here on the on the digger itself. But yeah, a little bit of silver paint there on the uh, windscreen. Looks nice. Transform. Fold this round. Flick the head up. And there we have him in his robot mode. Um, pretty simple. He has got a big shovel. Like it's sitting down his back and it won't go down any further. Yeah. Actually. 
Und da. <laughs> so, I think what I've done when I was younger is there are two parts there, two little holes there, and there's another two further back. And for some reason, mine was on the closer holes, which meant this wouldn't fold back. And now it does. So there you go. He's been misconstructed for 30 years. Um, again, nice little bit of paint on the face. Not too much detailing. Like some of the plastic sculpting. Again, standard articulation. Arms won't go up as far because of the wheels. Just changing back and let's see how that, um, that digger looks now. And actually, it fits a lot better. I think that's how it should look. I think it's just been misconstructed for all those years. So good old ground pounder is, after 30 odd years, has been put back together right. And final on the team is Crumble. Um, can you guess who Crumble is? Hook, of course. Got a little bit of an obsession with Hook because I missed out on him. And I've told that story a number of times. But uh, this was my mini version of Hook. Um, which you can see why, similar mode, all that kind of stuff. Nice bit of green paint on the windows there. You've got this articulated crane part. Um, done in a nice grey colour. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. So the transfer and crumble, all you do is you fold these round, similar to all the vehicle, other vehicles. And there he is in his robot mode. Nice little bit of brown detailing on there, a bit of extra paint. And yeah, that's about it for crumble. So there is the construction patrol in their entirety. I hope you enjoyed this little review. I hope you're enjoying these MicroMasters. Uh, let me know if you've got any of these or are there any other characters. These haven't been announced yet by Hasbro. Is there any of these you would like to see made into the new Siege line? Um, remember to leave comments below. Uh, I've been Zork Rider and I'll catch you again soon.